Keep an eye to see if this is going to be more of a control setup when it comes to RNG overall. And well, Evil Geniuses will try to get aggressive. The Paranoia actually pushes back the aforementioned raised player of Winsome. Temperature able to combine with a second kill, and that's going to be Claudia immediately feeling like the spike flooded here at C. It's a pretty quick start for you for RNG. Well, pretty quick start in terms of EG planting, RNG responding to down, though, is a bit of an issue for this retake. Full five of the retake as well. You got Potter playing all the way down long. Maybe looking for a big flank as well. Alexander for first contact with temperature as well. Ah, uh, this is a nice little angle. You thought for Alexander, but no retro responds beautifully. So it's a 2v2. Healing Orb was still in effect, so that'll be able to get a little bit of healing off. And oh boy, this Barrier Orb, Oasis has to go to, or Party of Science has to go pretty quickly. Halfway to Fuse is being stuck. Strong Legs holding an RNG. They get the retake. What a Barrier Orb it was. It's be pretty quick, pretty fast, but can they get through all this utility? The Nano Swarm, that's going to end Osias, who tried no to plant. stick for the plant. Not going to come through. 5v4 early. Potter's going to pick up right where their teammate had left off, but Renegade's already surrounding, getting in into the 5v2. Not a surprise that EG went for B. Of course, trying to really take down through the C Garage. Win some. The Cloud Bursts have been great so far. Leave CP2 by themselves. Nice curveball coming wow. through with a spam. What a prediction that is. And then help from Randy. Oh boy, headshots all over the feed. CP2 for two. Unbelievable. But at least Reiji, you get one kill and you get the spike down. The hashtag worth it, question mark. Uh, slightly, you gotta feel pretty, you know, you gotta feel excited. This is actually gonna come down to Retro discovering the push I first. Exactly when Summer's gonna go down to temperature as well. Retro, he's gonna spike potential. He gets the spike plant. That's a decent one for one. Now the two versus four. A lockdown is available to RNG. Wanna go for this one? I mean, they have the money to do so, so I guess they will. Nanostorm just a touch short from Savage. 4v2 situation, the lockdown like you mentioned is available, but that could be countered by the Hunter's Fury, and it just comes down to maybe you need to find a pick first before we commit to that. Again, they lost the resurrection with that peak from Retro, because he went one for one. Guiding Light, that's actually going to find some value in the player stuck in this back corner, but Alexander will shrug it off, does still fall. Claudia, what can she do? There's a nice first. Randy Savage makes things a bit more interesting, knows there's a player at long, should know that also Claudia is nearby. Timing on this peak, not incredible. And time is now becoming a bit of a problem. Claudia finds their second elimination, and EG is... Double kill he got there. So, so far for RNG, their ability to get these retakes in is very powerful, and Winsome <laughs> trying to get aggressive this round is going to get shut down very quickly. Oh, that's tough, and I believe they also know that Retro's in this corner. The Aldrim looking for him, but Retro still finds one elimination. Still alive here, but all caught in a pretty terrible spot. We'll burn alive as Alexander will find the kill. We go pretty even largely in the trades. It's still an advantage for EG, and Randy Savage will now be the next one up defensively. Finds the first, able to get a read on the second, but can't find the elimination. So now it just comes down to how long can you finesse for? Claudia will make sure it's not for very long, and Evil Geniuses will have a 2v1 post plant situation in their favor. A lot of utility available. Wow, look at the shot coming through from Strong Legs. That is massive. Turning this into a 1v1 already. Trailblaze to look for positioning. If this actually gets a catch over onto Claudia, yep, backside. Guiding light available. Might just want to throw that one out and will push on this. No problems. Claudia has to hold on for dear life. Claudia's actually moved all the way into window now, coming mm. through from Garage. Does she have a timing on Strong Legs? The Diffuse has been toggled. Claudia's starting to make their move. Strong Legs finds the kill. Time? Plenty of time. No problem. Renegade's beautiful retake. Again, 2v3 situation right at the end where evil geniuses are looking really good. over onto A. Probably not going to be able to do too much damage here. Might look for a little bit of slowdown. Trailblaze is probably still available at this point. The plant is going to be there. Again, my concern is what happens with the retake. So far, RNG have had great retakes, and EG have not been able to stop that in their post plant. Trailblazer going to scout things out. The lockdown will force two EG players into a corner at A long from the shadows. Is it going to be committed? Yeah, Claudia is actually going to play from behind this, and you have a lurker of temperature. So it just comes down to an evil genius. Just hold the right click misses from Osias. Retro fighting first one. But now Claudia in the back finds one with the spike. It's being stuck for the defusal. And Renegades will get it completely taken care of. Makes the spikes. I do think there might be a hero rifle on plague. Temperature might have one of those guns, but you've lost Potter now as well, Alexander. Ooh. Follow CP2, massive couple of kills, and there is Temperature does have a rifle in hand. There's a couple of good responses, but Temperature has to go 1v2 okay. now, and there's going to be the person with mo most well-equipped, I was going to say, to maybe get this one. Temperature's going to hear some of this. Ah, but he just takes dead. a little bit of a shoulder peek and retro punishes. That's ah, unfortunate timing for sure. Renegades now go up 7-1. to one. Yeah, Retro's incredible so far. I mean, that's going to be Retro's 10th yeah. kill so far of the half. For that's used instead of just win some with a rifle, and 
immediately punished. So Neural Theft will be spent off the rip. EG looking to get aggressive. It's Alexander the first one forward, but CP2. How good has he been in this position? Oh, Great help again. also coming in. Also really well played Slow Orb and Renegades. They have been responding so beautifully, but... Claudia finds the double. Uh, the headshot flinch pushes her aim up, and with that, Renegade Skittles is also be spent just to get Claudia on the site. With Guiding Light, Winsome is already in. No shrouded step to be allowed here. Now we get a little bit of blast back play. And RNG, my goodness, I mean, there's flashes all over the place, and they're still finding eliminations. Long range shots from strong legs are good, and now Temperature has to scramble over just to try to contest the spike plant. Trying to find the diffuser, not going to be allowed to. The trade is there, and Renegades, what a defensive half it was 11 to 1. Clean, they can make the rest of these rounds go on this Spike offense planted. now. Spike plant to come on through. Wall's already been broken at Potter. Trying to find some value in the shock darts. Yeah, finds a bit of damage, but pretty negligible at the end of it. Now the exchange of gunfire coming through, and Stronglings Retro able to take this in tow for Renegades. Last two players stuck over by B-Link. Retro holding this with win some. They're just doubled up on it. There comes the spam shots. No Find the series. Look at that defense one more time. Look at the amount of rounds RNG have been able to string through together and how many specific retakes there are as well in terms of the defuses. It's not like EG can't get on site. It's that they can't hold into sites afterwards in the post point. And now for their own defenses, unless they're doing something very creative this round and for every subsequent round from now on, it's not going to work out at all. RNG 13-1, I'm calling it. Oh, nice headshot there though from 10. Ah, but win some. <laughs> I've been over with the blast pack. Right on in the judge territory. Asias will keep things interesting with another headshot. But these sheriffs are going to be hard pressed to get through this barrier orb. Here comes the triple peak. Win some. Oh, my at goodness. Aerobatic to be sure. And well. That'll be it. Celsus is playing Sky and find an advantage with it. And apparently the, the call has been, let's not long, let's no longer play double duelists and let's just play a little Angel. bit slower, uh, a bit more controlled as we get a one-for-one -one exchange overall. So we got a 4v4 to start things off and Renegade's looking to execute over towards A pretty quickly. Temperature is in line defensively, but he actually gets tagged down to 34 HP. Brilliant shock dart. Claudia will make use of some of the damage to find an elimination. And now Renegade's are stuck a little bit in a weird spot. 3v4, Randy Savage tagged low. They'll shut the door on the rotation from Tree and try to get the spike planted. That's a 3v4, but two members from EG are still far away. They've only just regrouped over towards A now in terms of the Tree location. Heal has come on through in terms of regrowth as well from RNG. The only person that doesn't get healed is Strong Legs himself. And now the opening kill to Potter for the retake and get me a few more on this 2v3. Low HP for the EG side of things, but they will clean up. They will secure the pistol. Nice. And they're going to get in their first round, which is, I think, wiping a bit of sweat off the brow here because, you know, we've not seen good pistols so far in Haven. Different story to start things out with. Potter is watching this. CP2 looking for an aggressive peak. We'll find one. A little bit of wall bang. They're actually pretty blessed to get that shot because taken down to very low HP. But now you've got an opportunity for Renegades to start making their way forward. Osias will hold things up. Finding the first opportunity. Long range for the second. Beautiful shots. Knows that they have to respond to players from behind. Strong legs doesn't get the angle. And now we've got ourselves a 3v3. Seekers are available for potentially stalling this post plant hit. Beautiful long range shots from Temperature. Okay. Evil Genius is 3v2. What can you do to take this? There's the Seekers to try to get some information. And Strong legs makes good in the first bit. As now we go to a 2v2 situation. And we're just going to push together as well for RNG going over towards the mid. Spawn has been located. That should be a kill straight away. Claudia swings for it, but it's not going to be able to respond now. Asias on his lonesome, responsible for two kills so far this round. Only one smoke. We'll probably get this one halfway before he's challenged. No, doesn't even get the half defuse. One kill onto Retro. 10 HP. I think Strongleaks probably has this one. We'll go for a swing. An easy pickup. No HP of it. Towards A long. Temperature is going to be able to pop open this Aldrum, but doesn't see Winsome. Who's going to find one? Because he get the second. No, Osias puts him down. And the lockdown will still be here. It forces Alexander into a corner, of which he is getting wall banged through. And Renegades have successfully taken the A site. Now there's only three remaining for AG and should be just enough equipment to play with as well. I do believe this is three members that have weaponry acquired. We'll see how they go with this one. Still lots of members alive for RNG with far better equipment. CP2 playing very long range over towards oh. A main. Temperature does open up on his Randy Savage though. That's pretty big. I'm looking at the Seekers coming through from Strong Leagues. Possibly will need to be used. I haven't seen the tap come through from CP2 yet. Actually missed the shot, but does collect at the end. So it's now a 2v1 a size with the rifle. Blade Storm still available with four knives, in fact, and a couple more smokes. Yeah. Plenty of opportunity. We'll get this to halfway. Backs away. Second cloud burst goes down. Long range shots. Outward misses. A couple blade storms do connect, but 
Has to put the knives away and trust the rifle. 70 HP. Time sort of took away and CP2 gets a third opportunity. One of those buckies is in a corner here. Brilliant free cam coming through. Wins some. Not good. Potter finds one. Trailblazer coming out. Will affect, but help is on the way. Temperature is here to make sure nobody pushes through. They're also able to collect the weapons, but Retro punishes only for one, though. Beautiful wow. pickup for Evil Geniuses. Alexander with the overheal. Temperature with the peak. And we've got a 4v2 potential. I don't know if this will be a full thrifty, but let's call it what it is. It's likely going to be feeling like a thrifty if you're a running game fan if they lose this one. I mean, definitely it's, you know, 800 share of 900 buckies. That's very cheap items coming onto the list. Hey, Alexander, now with the Vandal in play. Or do you just largely trust that the AR is the people that gets you through this round? Have a couple of light buys there, so a size for oh, the first later. pick. There it is. Win some down nice and easy. This time, not flash through. A size will make his presence known of the operator. A couple of spray downs coming through from Potter as well, coming through from Link. And this is already looking pretty rough for RNG. They do manage to get their way onto site successfully, but here comes Alexander on the peak, remaining. and that's going to be the cleanup. There's no way that Retro wow. can get too much more done. Look at the info being obtained by EG here as well. They have three going over towards A main, two and B long, about to check into lobby as well. They see that B is completely clean. They're about to see that A is pretty much clean, except for Randy over here. While this is all happening, RNG have full control and tree, and they're actually about to get Whoa. onto site for free as well. Randy gets a double kill, wins some now for the flank, collects a third, so Claudia down A completely free, and EG have to think about the response now to be fine. I can't imagine a world that EG would have thought that Randy would have found both of those kills. They triple stacked over towards A long, and no one even finds really even any damage onto him. So now, if you're evil geniuses, you're just happy. Well, not happy, but you're going to have to concede this round, essentially. After losing all of your defensive members, you're going to hold the operator and see maybe if Potter can find a point of contact here. We'll see the shoulder makes good on it to find a headshot on the CP2. So at least there is the flaw is taken off the board. But my goodness, talk about the play from Randy Savage to walk away with two kills off the opening engagement. This is completely different to what we saw for two rounds in a row as well. You know, we saw Flawless coming through from e Osias sees the shoulder, doesn't hit the trigger. Oh, Whoa. headshot into the mix. Randy was trying to essentially toy with him, and that entire play for the lockdown wasn't necessarily for the execute. Alexander trying to sneak forward over by tree. Will be figured out. Claudia damaged by the boom bot, but has health from temperature. Brilliant health from temperature, in fact, and the wide swing from Claudia finds herself the elimination and gets away from CP2, who is the last player left, affected by the paranoia. A couple spam shots, but this is a very difficult one. V3, at least for now. Resurrection is available, but you need to find an elimination here before Full you can go for this. Or the wall would go into a res. It does get fortified, so bringing back to life will be strong legs. It gets broken. Reload will be there. Osias finds one strong leg. Spam shots coming out. Osias has to spend an operator shot to deal with the pressure of the Seekers. But temperature, secondary peak, good for another elimination. 4v4 we go. Osias just a bit wide. Now turning his attention right back over to the start cover. And oh man. So much information one way or the other here. CP2, I would say, fortunate to not have pushed through there because he would have likely been taken down. Regrowth is going to come into play to try to heal some players up. And a little bit of sharing of the healing going on right now for Renegades as also the healing orb was spent to make sure that strong legs could get back to your full HP. Really a big healer comp if you think about it at that he stage. Really you know, Sky Sage together is not something I see too often. Maybe it's something that you potentially would even run on a map like Split using the Trailblazer now just to check over to site. They don't see Potter though. I'm not too sure that Potter was spotted. You have to remember, Trailblazer is technically near site. It's you you can't see anybody unless you're quite close to them with that Trailblazer. It's not quite as good as an L drone. Size gets confident, tries to peek over towards me. Didn't expect there to be two people. That's going to give a little bit of priority over to RNG now. Four versus three, confidently going over towards A2 defenders. They're waiting for them. And the lockdown, pretty far away. The lockdown don't need to save for the post one. Randy's going to find one, immediately traded, but temperature is caught down low. Needs to have a special moment, but will not find the second elimination. So now it is just down to Potter. I feel like with this 1v3, there should be an opportunity for her to go for this, but the barrier orb will make life pretty difficult. We'll still potentially try to peek, seeing, can I sneak through this? Yeah, you can, but CP2 is waiting for you. Try to avoid the blind and the guiding light. CP2 secondary just kind of throwing shots through the cloud burst. Good for one. Alexander will play for the trade, and he'll be awarded it. Temperature is going to read that there are a number of players over towards this catwalk. Another guiding light will push them back. Just a touch. Sky Smoke to try to come through. Brilliant shock dart, though. Finds a hefty amount of damage, and the recon bolt will confirm information. There are players nearby. But even still, with all that said, Renegades will get onto the A-side and play for a plan. 
Bit of extra healing coming through onto Retro as well. Plant does come in again. Orbital Strike is there. That's why you see Retro playing so far away. Just got to keep him alive. Empress being popped in. Lockdown as well. Do you actually spend the lock? Yeah, you do spend the Orbital Strike on the lockdown immediately. That means you don't have to leave the site. Uh, and Savage will actually take down two. So it comes down to Potter and Claudia. 2v3 situation. Winsome down low is not going to initially see the cross from Potter. Randy Savage on the outside. Good response for the first kill. Long range, not going to find Randy. That'll be his third elimination. Down to Claudia, 1v2. Would love to see this get the seventh round, but it's just shoulder throwing back and forth. Gets a headshot, but... Backwards, they're going to leave one. That's Potter, who's just trying to make a bit of noise. This entry turret is also placed. And now the nano storm. This is so much distraction and temperature. Lurks on in, finds retro, and now renegades have to scramble to come around. But you mentioned CP2 on the flank. Can the rest of renegades try to hold off for long enough to let this play from the back happen? The answer will be no. It's a one v five situation. CP2 for one. Long range finds a second. Hold on. Healing orb is going to be here, but has to wait for the full heal to get into play. Has made it down to a 1v3. Of course, everybody from EG knows exactly where CP2 is positioned. Has to deal with a sentry turret because it will hurt. <laughs> little shoulder peaks. That will be the end of it. Beautiful little double wrap back for Evil Geniuses to win the pistol. Time being of temperature, though, potentially up for an early frag on the Bucky. There we go. There it is. Right click finds the kill. Get that leer out of here, says Winsome. Let's just take this the old fashioned way. Strong legs will find a bit of damage. Now back over. Winsome oh, finds geez. another long range shot, but Alexander overheal. Boom bot down. Wanting to see if there's going to be a challenge. It will not occur. Just the door being shut. Now to the pistol. Plenty of time for a reload, but wants to instead swap left. over to the specter that he's picked up off the ground. Moving very quickly is Alexander. Still a very plausible 1v2. Andy Savage. Look what he's holding just underneath these boxes. Alexander sees a shoulder, Remaining. finds the kill. Last one down low for the ace. 1v1, 38 HP. Time. Comes down to the timing of this. Nine seconds to go, and as he swaps over, wins some. We'll get four with the middle, so this is going to be... They don't have tree. Yeah, as in this could very well could just be a blunder here, walking right into danger. They don't have tree control. They have no one walking up glass. They have no challenge into any other part of the map. At this point, you can't fake your way over towards B. Osiris has given over a very important objective here, and they're just going to walk into smoke. Hope for the best, and here comes the spray down. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> someone turned the blender on, and it turned up in favor of Renegades. Range. And now the flash will come through for the pick to occur, but Osias punishes. He'll find one. CP2 second pick, not going to be good. It's only a two-for-one exchange, but Randy Savage with the Sheriff keeps things level. 3v3, we go with 40 to play. Races in play as well. RNG can go for that one for sure. They have a lot of control so far on the map. We'll see if Alexander does the damage. There is heal up as well. Could even decide to dismiss away if there's a little bit more th pr th pressure. I mean, the pressure's certainly there. Alexander will use the dismiss just to check locations. This is the one we want that he will for sure want to tank. But how many times does he want to zone off the undercarriage here in hell? No one to be found, though. CP2 just waiting for someone to make a jump up happen. Don't imagine that Evil Geniuses will give him an opportunity in this 4v5. And Renegade's on the retake. See that zoom into the mini-map? This is the position. Two players, at least right now, for Tree. Two up top, and then the one lurking currently is strong legs. Which direction do you want to go? Could he be the showstopper through first? Alexander up close. Win some. He's going to find anybody. Point blank shot will take himself oh. down with it, but it doesn't make a difference because Renegades have worked their way on. Last player left is now Temperature. It would be a 1v3. Shotgun comes through. Does find a bit of damage, but unfortunately, the spam from Renegades are good enough to find the kill, and they will break this tie and go up 9 to 8. Yeah, multiple members of Renegades alive there as well. Just recon to check for rotations through. Smoke over towards Tree as well, looking over towards Glass. So here it is, spamming through the floorboards. The only thing that's really difficult for EG is that Alexander is low. No chance to heal just yet until he finds a kill. There will be contact made in Tree for sure. Well, the Bucky really cannot challenge this. Oh, that's terrible timing for Winsome. The dark cover fades away, but at least Retro was there for an initial trade. Evil Genius is still holding strongly, and that may be enough for Renegades to say, we need to save this operator. Try to save this rifle as well. Potter looking like she wants to go for this, but gets punished for it. 
You also have Temperature trying to play and Alexander, so that's a brilliant wipe of the floor there for Evil Genius as they find every last member. And the ability of an A hit is still possible. It, it's just, it's open now. Usually what happens is you put the wall down and if no one breaks the wall, the wall's just going to lock that position up for a long time. You don't need to think about it too much. They're wow. going to really now double down on trying to fake over towards B. Three members are still there for RNG. They're going to be late to the party as the rest of EG storm over, th over towards B. Oh, but Winsome, he reads the play in the back from the from the shadows. Weird to say, from the from the shadows. When some stole, is he able for to get find more? Not gonna be the case. Seekers are now in the mix. Renegades on the retake attack. Spike left. will be collected. Strong legs, good for one for free. Remaining. Randy Savage, another. They know where the last player is. It's Alexander in. Oh man, evil geniuses. You thought for a second the lockdown. It's a lot of time that would be taken away. And oh, Alexander wasn't sure what to shoot at. Boombot or win some. And that split decision making is the cost of his life. So now Asias up top, still trying to zone off some space. Guiding light, showstopper, but the spam from temperature for two. Is it going to be good enough? 3v2 situation. The defensive green tick looking pretty strong. Claudia up close and personal. Has to deal with multiple angles. Could not find the kill. And now it just comes down to Potter. 1v2. Christine Chi, can you do it? Already halfway to fuse. Barry Orb is still down. They can just Full stick strength. this. You can just stick this. No problem, RNG. One get on 11. Remaining. I mean, sure, Alexander did get the trade eventually. The slow is enough, by the way, that allows RNG to get the rest of the members through market. Randy comes from behind and gets the kills. And ultimately, Randy, again, no jet to be played here. EG on about 40-ish kind of seconds remaining out. Lockdown's going to come into play. Thing. And a counter lockdown is going to come in as well. And the counter from EG. So EG, they're going to throw in two here. You want to raise me? Let me raise you back. EG will find first blood, but Osias oh, almost caught out. Kale wins the safety. Second peak when somebody's able to find the elimination, but Potter is already getting the spike planted. There are still members for Evil Genius moving to the middle of the map, but it's the first blood that comes in this engagement over towards B main. CP2 could be able to get the resurrection into play. Seekers also scouting out how many players are over towards the middle of the map. Alexander will deal with it, but here comes Renegades on their recovery attempt. Sneaking through the sky smoke. Spam shots are decent, really, from both sides. The slow orbs are keeping EG completely at bay. It's just down to Potter. 8 HP. Not able to find the first elimination, and now Renegades have numbers. Last player left alive. Alexander hoping for some spam shots. The Molly will keep him at bay. Win some fun.